Good morning, and thank you all for coming down for this. This is very important, and I want to tell you, it is odd to have a group show up as we're getting ready to do some regulations, some discussion, and even a vote on it. But you know, I did not sit on the policy committees before. I sit on the budget and tax committee. So this will be the first time, besides the floor conversations that we had in the debate, that we'll have something else you know, dealing with this. And again, these are the regulations. This is their implementation as to how it's going to happen. But something that I learned from some of my law enforcement people is that they've been so late in getting this out that even the department is trying to figure out how best can they do something with what law enforcement people admittedly say is a bad law. Back where we are in Frederick and Carroll County, the law enforcement people don't like what's going on. And furthermore, when you have a situation where they are ignoring the chief antagonist to try to drive some of this, and by that I mean the deficiencies we have in mental health. They are not looking at this. Their solution is to make criminals out of law-abiding citizens. And that's not where we need this to go. And if they really think that the gun laws have made a safer community, look at Chicago. And I think I saw in the Drudge Report or someplace that they were, or maybe it was Facebook, here they're contemplating a bombing raid or whatever it is in Syria. Perhaps they should take a look at Chicago and what's going on there. Those of you that the numbers work out for on, on my street, I think we've joked about it for 15 years now. I think we now actually need to put it up. There's 16 homes on this street. There are nine NRA members. You guess which home. And we have the safest street, I think, in our area. Listen, thank you all for coming out today. This really means a lot. And even when we had the hearings before, and I walked across this very plaza with one of the senior senators from Baltimore County. He said, do you know that there were more people that showed up for this bill than had showed up for the civil rights marches and the demonstrations back in 63? That said a lot. It said a lot that he was here for that too. But the key is, is that certainly is a, is a benchmark to, to post this on. What's happened in the legislation is wrong. What's going to happen with the regulations is wrong, and yet it's our, our hope that we can take this state back to where it needs to be so we can protect our homes, we can preserve our Second Amendment rights. Thank you all.